this work reflect these current concerns about uh, climate change, global warming? My goal was to create these structures that became almost emergency shelters for people who live along the shore in an atmosphere where there are severe storms and flooding. I think it's more speculative and it's more fantasy than it is real. I, I like the idea maybe of collaborating with architects and designing structures that could function that way. I mean, there's still photographs of models. They're not models for real things. And so they're kind of speculative creations that are trying to evoke the atmosphere of both danger, flooding, but also home. I have designed the nature, the background, uh, to fit the uh, image. So I'll shoot the model on this artificial water and then um, drop in a background and a sky later. I think for me the, um, the reflections are important because they're, they are in contrast to the rectilinear solid structure that's at the center of the image. For me it's adding an element of emotional experience that the structure would not have without it. I think that contrast, that juxtaposition is important to me. It's sort of almost like reason and unreason, or conscious and unconscious, or, you know, there are these polar opposites, I suppose. I can point to influences in individual images, like the color, the orange and the green in one image, uh, is influenced by Louis Berrigan and kind of a Mexican color palette, but the structure itself is influenced by 1950s Florida houses by Paul Rudolph. I'm kind of picking and choosing, getting influenced by structures I've discovered around the world. And this particular image was influenced, it was kind of based on an apartment building in Japan by a young architect named Akahira Harata, if I get that correct. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really trying to reference them directly. I'm trying to create an experience as an image that's my own, and I'm actually trying to create my own structures that grow out of that. They're the American notion of private home, you know, on its own little Garden of Eden, surrounded by nature and our relationship to it. And so it's a bit idyllic in that sense. At the same time, it's an endangered ideal, of course, for that very reason, that population density. I was creating an atmosphere of calm and serenity, I guess, in nature in an atmosphere that isn't, it's disturbing, but it's not um, hysterical. <laughs> yeah.